Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Rankin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define and call basic functions in C++. We'll also, as a bonus, take a look at or learn about the terminology that is associated with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you can see I've got myself a Visual Studio project already built. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at defining a function. Okay, so this is going to be defining a function, also known as a function definition. Okay, so there are four pieces to every function definition. Okay, you have a return type, you have the name of the function, you have the parameter list, and you have the function body. Okay, so let's take a look at this function. So you've got the return type. In this case, it's going to be void. You've got the name. We'll call this function foo. And then you've got the parameter list. And in this case, the parameter list is empty. All right. And then once we have that, we're going to have the function body. Okay. So return type, name, parameter list function body and then this part right here this is the function header okay function header is turn type name and parameter list all together okay now in the function body you put whatever statements you want to have execute when you call your function okay so for this example it's just gonna be something simple we're just gonna call uh, hello world okay so that is one function definition. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to call our function. Okay, so we need to call our function. So to do that, we make a function call. Okay, we make a function call. So what's a function call? It's the name of the function. Okay, name of the function and an argument list. Okay, so this is the argument list and inside those parentheses just happens to be that our argument list is empty for this example. Okay, and so this is the name of the function. So now when we run our program, what's gonna happen is, is that I'll go ahead and put a C out statement up here, C out. Uh, entering main, okay, and then um, we'll do C out um, goodbye, okay, or maybe I'll just say uh, C out hello and then goodbye, okay. So when we do our program, when we compile and run it, we'll see hello on the screen, and then function foo will be called, and at that point we'll jump up from line 19 up to our foo function, and we'll start executing the statements in the body of our foo function. So this C out statement will execute. Once that's done executing, we'll reach this closing curly brace. We'll return back from whence we came, jumping back down to line 19, and then we'll continue on with the rest of the program, printing out the goodbye. Then we have a little bit of pause here so you can see the output in the window, and then the program will be done. So let's take a look uh, at that. Okay, so you can see on your screen, you've got hello, hello world, and goodbye, just as predicted. Okay, now we can call a function as many times as we want to, or as many times as we need to. So let's say I wanted to call that function three times. Let's say that I want to have the logic that is written in that function to execute three times. Well, then I just make three separate function calls. Okay, so we're going to see there's hello, which is the result of, you know, the entering the main function. And then we see hello world the first time for the first function call. And then we see hello world the second time for the second function call. We see hello world the third time for the third function call. And then we see goodbye. Okay. Now we can call this function as many times as we need to. Right. So let's say, let's say we want to call it 
five times. Okay, we put it in a loop. Fine. You know, the body of this loop is going to execute five times. So that function is going to get called five times. So see out hello world is going to get called five times, as you can see on the screen. Okay, so let me show you another example. We will define a couple of different functions this time. So we'll have a function called first, and that function will simply see out and report that it's being called, right? So we'll say first called, okay? And then I'll have another function, and I'll have it report that it was called. Okay, and then heck, I'll even have a third function here, void third. Okay, and then I'll have it report that it was called. Okay, and then we'll just call these functions in no particular order, and we'll trace through the code to see how it actually works. Okay, so we'll have our hello, our goodbye, and we'll call first, we'll call second, we'll call third. So here's what's going to happen. The main function will start executing. We'll see hello on the screen because of line 26. Then the first function call, line 28, will execute. We'll jump up to the first function, and then that function will execute. We'll see first called on the screen. Then once that's done, We'll reach the end of the function there, and then we'll go back from once we came to that function call, and then main will continue. It'll call second, so then we'll jump up to the second function definition, execute its body. We'll see second called on the screen. We'll get to the end of the function. Then we'll return from whence we came and continue on in main. So then third will be called. We'll jump up to the third function definition. It'll execute all of its statements in its body. So we'll see third call on the screen, we'll reach the end, and then we'll return from whence we came. And then main will continue executing, we'll see goodbye, we'll have our pause, and then we'll be done. So let's see what that looks like. Let's see if my prediction was correct. And so then you can see in the output that in fact it was correct. We have the output for hello, then we've got the output generated by the first, second, and third function calls, and then we've got goodbye. Okay, guys, I got one more example for you. And what we'll do here is instead of having main call uh, second, we'll go ahead and we'll have third call second. Okay, so we'll put that call right there. And then we'll leave a little statement here saying, you know, leaving third. So that way it'll be easier to follow along with what's happening. So let us predict what is going to happen. Okay, so we've got our main function. When this starts executing, we're gonna see um, hello on the screen. Then the first function is gonna get called. We'll jump up to the first function definition. Then it's gonna execute its function body. And then we'll see first called on the screen. That function will finish executing. We always return from whence we came. So we go back to the function call and then main continues on, executes the third function or makes that third function call happen go up to the uh, third function definition. And then that starts executing its body, so we'll see third called. Then we're gonna go ahead and call second from within third. You can have functions that call functions that call functions. So main calls third, which in turn calls second, okay? So second's gonna start executing. We're gonna jump up to the function definition for second, and then it's gonna execute its body. So it's gonna display second called on the screen. Then the function will terminate once it reaches its closing curly brace. We'll return back from once we came, which was the function call within third. And then third will finish executing. And so we'll see on the screen leaving third. And then third will be done. And then we'll leave third and go back from once we came, which was the function call to third in main. And then main will continue executing. We'll see goodbye on the screen. We'll have a pause and then we'll be done. So let's see if our prediction comes true. So we got hello, first called, third called, second called, leaving third, and goodbye. So looks great. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up 
on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.